Wednesday marks the beginning of our Lenten season as Catholics. Well, during this, this holy, holy season, we are supposed, we are asked to pray, fast, and give alms. Well, we need to give alms to the poor. We pray constantly. Yeah. That I only hope and pray that little that this will be good for all of us Saturday Christians. Last Wednesday is a day we would go to the church and uh, collect us for the preparation of Lent. Actually, my opinion to us that is, it is left to you. It is left to you to fast or not. Because in the circumstance of where you are, uh, uh, maybe you are suffering from uh, health issues, you might not be able to fast. So it is, up to, it is up to you, it is an option, either to fast or not. And the thing is, Lent is not about doing whatsoever you feel like doing. It's, it's part of Holy, Holy, Holy Weeks. Lent is part of Holy Weeks and it's also part of holiness. We should all try by all means not to indulge in some other practices. For instance, you know, we should limit going, most of these boys, like going out to night to watch it. We also should limit our, our immorality. We should limit our immorality. Ice Wednesday. This is the day we Christians begin their fast. Uh, the priest, as a Christian, you should fast, give arms and pray. If you cannot fast, you give arms and pray. As Christians, it is not a force for you to fast. Hi guys, I'm Harry Christopher. This is your show, Feed Alive. Today we have Father Samuel Odogbo who will be teaching us things that we should know about Lent. Okay, so I will... Uh... Uh, explain a few things or questions that you may be asking for the benefit of the Christian people as we approach our celebration of Lent and uh, Easter. I have a few questions for Father Samuel Odogbo. One of these questions are, what is Ash Wednesday? Lent begins with Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is the first day that the church brings itself together to celebrate the beginning of Lent, which is symbolized by the ashes that we are all uh, uh, signed with on our foreheads. And simply when you listen to what the priests say, the day we celebrate Ash Wednesday, when they are putting on the ash on the forehead of the believers, is that we move away from sin and believe the gospel. So simply, Ash Wednesday is the launching of every Christian into the period, 40 days of uh, Lent for the preparation uh, of Easter. So if that is what Ash Wednesday is, then I'm simply saying it is important for, for us Catholics because the ashes reminds us of our own mortality. Remember, this has a connection with the Old Testament theology. Book of Genesis, we are told that God created a human being from dust and he breathed his spirit into the human being. So you simply see that we are made of, of dust and God's spirit. And unto dust, another formula, when the priest is putting the ash on the forehead, uh, um, of everybody is that you are dust and unto dust you shall return. So this is the theology of Genesis where it says to us that we are remind, reminded of our mortality. So Ash Wednesday again reminds us that as Christians, as Catholic people, our lives on earth is short lived. One day we are going to die and it is important for us to spiritually prepare ourselves constantly because in this sense of Lent and Easter, Christ's death and resurrection is something we believe will happen to us if we have faith in God through Jesus Christ. He rose from the dead and that is what we believe will happen to us also when we die. So Ash Wednesday is important. It's a solemn period or beginning of Lent, that people should uh, give their minds and hearts in preparation for the uh, suffering, death, and resurrection of Christ. Is this a most for Christians to fast on Ash Wednesday? Um, I think uh, it's important for Christians, especially Catholics, to fasting, which is Lent time, is really encouraged as far as the Catholic Church is concerned for people 
who really wish to express their sorrow and prepare themselves for the suffering death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Thank you. The last question is, what are the most important things Christians should know about fasting and prayer? To know now, when you talk about fasting and prayer, there is one thing again that every Christian is reminded on Ash Wednesday. The Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter six, is read on Ash Wednesday, every Ash Wednesday, every year, and the Gospel simply identifies for us the three things that we are expected to do during Lent: fasting, praying, and alms giving. So it's not just the two that you have mentioned constantly, but the third one is alms given. We must constantly pray. And the description is quite clear in the Gospel of Matthew that we shouldn't do this for people to see because God gives us the reward. And when we are engaging in praying, fasting and alms given, we must do it secretly, meaning we, it is not a show. A spiritual exercise that we uh, or must be recognized by the God who rewards. So, if you are talking about prayer, alms giving, and um, and fasting, it's important because it is all the spiritual exercise that the church tells us. If we engage in, we are giving our minds and our hearts to God. So we are praying so that we will constantly be connected with God. We are fasting. Simply, we are getting rid of the negative things that we think we uh, are used to, moving away from sin and embracing a better life. And simply this, is, uh, or this happens when people look at maybe the, the amount of food you take and during Lent you say, okay, because I am mortifying myself now for a greater goal, I will reduce the quantity of food that I eat. It's a form of prayer. You are doing this and as the tradition goes, people will reduce their quantity of food and reserve what they are really keeping for the poor. So it simply leads us to the third one, which is alms given. It's not just about ourselves, but about also people who are not privileged to have things that we have, uh, to live the life that we live. And it's all about uh, 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 uniting ourselves with each other and uh, celebrating the life that God has given to us. So prayer, alms giving, and fasting are very important uh, practice for every Catholic during Lent leading us to Easter. Why? Because they are the three formulas of prayer that the church has given to us and we must abide to that if we want really to experience God's grace in our hearts, in our minds, as we draw ourselves to Easter, the celebration of Christ's suffering, death and resurrection, the hope of every believer. Thank you, Father. Thank you for that. What are the things that you want to add on to these questions that I've already asked? I will be talking uh, continuously about land, what we must do for us to prepare ourselves spiritually, yet again for uh, the uh, greatest um, um, uh, faith of the church, which is Christ's resurrection. Uh, my advice to my Christian Catholic faithful is that we should, we should prepare ourselves well, so that as we uh, enter into uh, another season of land, we will treat it as it's something new always in our lives. Believe the gospel and let the gospel speak to your heart for the benefit of your soul, which is what each and every one of us believe it's going to uh, happen to us on the last day. Our souls will see, uh, will inherit God's kingdom. I'm saying a big thank you to Father Samuel Odogbo for that wonderful teachings. So please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please follow us on Facebook and please share the links so that we'll spread the gospel. Thank you for watching.